What's up everyone, I'm Big Bug. Welcome back to another video where today I'm going to show you how I use Share Factory to make my intros at the start of uh, my videos. And basically what I thought was anyone on PS4 that are making a channel or doing YouTube might find this helpful, I'm not sure, but hopefully it will. So basically this is the screen that you're welcomed with. You've got a few options on here, videos, photos, etc, etc. Um, we're going to stay on videos. You've got new project, my project, gallery, my last project. So we're going to go new project and you get this screen. Um, it doesn't really matter what you pick, if I'm honest. You can pick that. And as you can see, in each one of these four boxes, so one, two, three, four, there's a little tick in them. Now, I don't want to use them... them uh, clips if you like so by pressing X if you look along the bottom there it says X select or deselect square is project so get rid of them <coughs> excuse me now I'm gonna pick a, a bit of video footage I'm gonna use let's just use this one um, this is just for the the intros guys so as you can see there I've put this the box on look by pressing X it's ticking and unticking I want it ticked and I'm going to press square, which is start project. Uh, rename project? No, not really. I'm just, I'm just going to get the project on. Now, what I've got is 60 minutes of captured footage. Uh, footage. Now, I already know because I was making this video that the bit I need is at 50 minutes. So just by scrolling along, look, if you look along the bottom bar, it shows the big pad in the middle of your PS4. By sliding my finger along, I can just... I can get rid of all this footage. I want to get to about 50 minutes. So let's just use... There you go, 50 minutes, 51. Uh, let's just bring that back slowly. Right, so if I was going to make a video, I would start probably there, if I'm honest, if I was going to do this video. So what you do now is look along the options at the bottom. It says X is to add... So that's to add something. So if you're going to add music or you're going to add um, another piece of footage, you can do that by pressing X. Square, the spanner, that's the one we're going to use this time. So let's press square and it comes up with a, a list of options. I've got time bender, um, I've got split clip, trim clip. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry about that. We're going to split the clip. So I'm going to press on X to confirm once I've highlighted that split clip. So again, just I'll go back to that screen, sorry. Look along the bottom bar now. I've got the little split clip option, which is X. I'm going to press X and I'm going to confirm that split. I'm going to move back to the left and I'm going to bin all this other footage because... We don't want that in this video. So anything you don't want, sort of, say for argument's sake, I split it there. And I want to take that piece out. Now that I've split it, I can take it out by pressing square, which is the bin. And I'm going to do the same with all this, because we only want our gameplay to start from here. So I'm going to bin that off by pressing square. Now this is where we are. We've clipped our footage right down to eight minutes. 8 minutes 50 to be exact but we're still in the split clip and um, now we don't want to split any more clips yet so what we're going to do is we're going to press the circle button look along the bottom bar you can see the circle that will take us back so I'm going to press it in 3, 2, 1 back to this so we got add clip we got the spanner which is square or circle to go back again so this is where the, the video that I'm pretending to make would start. And so it's me playing Skirmish on the Division. Now, you can use this on any game or any piece of footage. I mean, whatever you capture. I choose to capture 60 minutes of footage. Um, you guys might only want to capture 15 minutes. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip it forward till I get a decent kill. As you can see, I got killed a couple of times there. And you guys don't need to see that. I mean, you know... Right, let's have a look what we got here now. Okay, so we're just going to skip it forward. What we're looking for is that perfect kill. You know, the one where you kill someone and you can put that at the start. So, right, perfect, found it. So here we go. This is the uh, footage I'm going to capture. 
Now this is where me and someone go one on one. I'm just going to slowly bring it forward. Right, now I've started shooting him there. That's perfect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to split the clip. Now by pressing square, which is the spanner, and then highlighting the split clip like so. Now as you can see in the bottom bar, it's got the X for split clip, which is what we're going to do. And I'm going to just bring it forward till he goes down there perfect right so just bring it back slightly let's split it there now what I need to see is I need this split clip for the intro you want about three seconds so let's have a look what we've got perfect so you see me put him down now to move this to the start of the video is very simple what we do we come off this split clip uh, menu at the bottom by pressing circle and that will bring us back to the add clip and uh, edit clip we're going to edit which is the spanner which is square now it comes up with this option or these options we're going to clone the clip so we're making another one like so so what you end up with is this So there's two of them. Now you're not going to want to see it twice. So I'm going to move that clip to the start of the video so that you guys just see me shooting him. And first of all, you think, oh, wow, look at that. That looks awesome. That's the theory anyway. So we're going to press on the spanner on this piece of clip here. We're going to go to move clip. And we're just going to move that using L1 to the start. So I've now moved that to the start of the video like so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip it all the way back like that and we're going to leave that in we're not going to delete nothing because we've moved one pe this piece of footage we've cloned it and moved it to the start of the video now I'm just going to sort of scan along and what I'm hoping for is to find another kill now if I can find another kill what we want to do that is about two or three times but I want to show you the process sometimes it takes a little bit longer Right, so this guy gets killed, so yeah, we want that footage, so we're just going to ease it back to, let's go about, let's go about there, that looks pretty cool, where I start shooting him, so we're going to press the spanner, we're going to split the clip, and then as you can see the bottom bar has changed you can see the split clip symbol in the bottom left hand corner by pressing X we're going to confirm that split now we're going to move it along what about three seconds because anything more than that's a bit too long in my opinion you guys might might want to do it longer but one two let's go with three in fact let's just I'll tell you what for the sake of the video let's do four so give him a let's just have a look. So, you have ten right, perfect. So where he rifle butts him is perfect. So we'll split it, say there. Split clip. So now we've got this piece of footage that we want to use in our intro. So we're gonna move that. So you've got to remember to press circle because circle will take you back to the the other option where you can edit that piece of footage because at the moment it's just on the split clip so we're going to press circle then we're going to use square again which is the spanner which is edit I mean if we want to add footage or add a piece of video like I could go to here and I could go add and I could go add video clip if you've got another clip or a photo a screenshot but we'll come back to that so with this one we're going to go spanner we're going to move along to clone clip so now we've got the two I've got it twice again so now I'm going to go spanner which is square and I'm going to go move clip and I'm going to move that along to there then I'm going to apply it so just always keep an eye on that bottom bar so X is to apply now that gives me them two pieces of footage there now I'm just going to skip it along so we know we was here 
because this is where we've done our last cut. Now, don't worry about the split clip piece there because it will play smoothly. Look, I'll just show you. You have 10 kills left. Now, on your video, once you've captured it, you're not going to people are not going to know that you split the clip there. So what we're going to do is we're just going to skip along slightly, see if we can get another kill, which we can right there. Perfect. Right, so we're just going to bring this back to where we start shooting. So you don't really want to see the build up to it, not unless you want to put that in. That's up to you. But for me, I'm just going to get it to where I start shooting him, which is there. So we're going to press the spanner, which is square. We're going to go split clip and we're going to split the clip right there. So this is going to be the start. So we need about three seconds. One, two, three. Perfect. We've put him down. We're going to split it there for the sake of this video. Now, we're still in the split screen. As you know, the split in the clips uh, screen. So we need to press circle to go back. And as you can see now, now we can press square. Go to clone clip. And that's give us the, the two. So two pieces of footage that are identical. I'll just show you one more time. So we're going to move that piece of clip. So by pressing square, we're going to go to move clip, which is that one. Then we're going to press L1. And we're going to put that there by applying it, which was X. Now, I've got these three pieces of footage, but they've still got volume. Yep. Now, to make the this part of the video the intro, you don't want to hear that. So what we're going to do is we're going to press on the spanner again, which is your square button. And I'm just going to go to clip volume. I'm going to click on that and it will give me this option. I can take it right up to 200. If it's something funny that you've said to your mates, you could, you know... I wouldn't recommend 200, it might be a little bit distorted, but I'm going to move it right down, like so. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go onto this one, I'm going to press square, clip volume, bring it down, I'm going to confirm it, and then I'm going to do the same with this one, press square, press X on clip volume, bring the volume down and press X again. So now what we've got, it's three clips with no volume, which is perfect, which is exactly what we want. This is what we want. We don't, sometimes you don't want to hear the gunfire. You might want it. It's up to you guys. You can, you know, this isn't black and white rules. You can do anything you like. But what I do, just to finish this, this sort of 10 seconds off or 8 or 9 seconds of footage, I'm just going to add music. Um, I'll show you how I do that very quickly. So, I download my music onto a USB and I add that to the um, share factory you guys will have to look that up if you don't know how to do that it's very very simple so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add now I'm going to add my music so add music and these are the options that you've got you've got lots of options I've got tunes that I've or songs or music that I've added so I'm going to add I don't know um, let's add Let's add this one for now. Now, although that's very a very nice tune, I want it to be a bit more upbeat for the start of the video. I want you guys to go, ah, oh, this looks awesome. So let's, as you can see, there's a pattern on the music. So it's like the intro, and then it goes quiet, then a bit louder, then quiet. See by the waves on the bar? So what I want to do is I want to add it about... Perfect. Where that beat comes in will be perfect. So let's have a look. Right, so I'm just going to put that there. Sorry about if that's too loud. Let me um, just quickly edit that so that what I'll do is I'll quickly... Um, I'm going to lower the music volume for you guys so it's not too loud. I'll put it on 50. Hopefully it won't deafen you this time. So I know the piece of music I want is from here. As you can see along that bottom bar where it, it sort of it makes this noise. Then it goes into the beat there. Now I'm just going to put that back a little bit. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the spanner. And I'm going to split the music. 
I'm going to split it just there, like so. I'm going to move back over this side because I don't want this piece of music here now. I want from this piece. So I'm just going to press the bin and delete that piece. So we've got our intro there and the music's here. Now all I'm going to do with this music, by pressing circle, that will take me back. Now I'm going to press the square again. Now the circle just took me back to where I can edit it. So press the spanner again, which is square. And I'm going to move the music up like so. Now keep an eye on that bottom bar. See it says it's got the tick. That's just to confirm. So now the music is right at the start. That's perfect. Now I need to split the music just here because the gameplay footage starts here. And what I might want to do is I might want to add my voice, but that will be a different video for you guys. Right, so just get it to there. That's where I'm going to start talking. So I'm going to press the spanner, which is square. I'm going to split the music. Split. Now I'm going to move over this side now because I don't want this piece of music here. I want to keep this piece here. So I'm just going to move over this side and I'm going to press square, which is the bin. And I'm just going to delete music. Now, as you can see, it's left the piece of music just there. Now, what I'm going to do for the sake of the video is I'm going to press square. I'm going to go fade in because you don't want the <coughs> excuse me. You don't want the music to jump in on. You want it to fade in and fade out. And that's really important. So let's put that to two seconds. Now, if you look, imagine you're watching the intro. This is what you see. See how it just drops out? It suddenly stops. And then imagine me talking over the top. Yo, I'm Big Bug. Welcome to the next gameplay. Whatever I'm going to say. That will sound really bad. So you need to fade that music out. So by pressing square, fade out. We're going to put that to two and a half seconds. So what you end up with now is this. Nice gentle fade in. And a nice fade out. So at that point there, yo, I'm Big Bug. Welcome back to another Division video. You get the impression. But that is a basic, it's only nine seconds it seems like a lot of work i can do this quite quickly when i'm not trying to teach you guys but um that is how to get yourself a, a half decent little intro together with a little bit of music now if you guys want to see more about share factory and how i edit the rest of my videos then please feel free to put in the comments let me know don't forget to give us a thumbs up i hope this helped you out guys look after yourselves take care peace